The Google AdWords keyword tool is dead. Long live the Google Keyword Planner. This Domain Sherpa tutorial walks you through the new Google Keyword Planner, shows you how to find most of the same information as the Google AdWords keyword tool provided, and what the differences are between the two. This tutorial also shows you how to use the Google Keyword Planner tool for SEO and domain name purposes. Stay tuned. I have three short sponsor messages before we get into today's show. First, if you have a great domain name and nothing to show when people visit, you're missing out on potential advertising revenue, leads, and partnership opportunities. NicheWebsites.com can build you a site quickly with a price option to suit any need. But as their tagline says, they don't just build websites, they build businesses. Second, if you're buying or selling a domain name or a portfolio and you want an estimate of its value, Estebot.com is the place to go. Just like you'd visit Zillow.com to get an estimate of a house value, Estebot.com provides key information about the most important statistics so you can make an informed decision based on data. Finally, DNX.com is a domain name exchange that uses a reverse auction platform to provide fair market prices for quality domain names that are manually filtered by an experienced broker. At DNX.com, domain prices drop until someone decides the price is right. But don't wait too long or the domain you love might be purchased by someone else. All three sponsors have a clickable banner in the upper right-hand corner of DomainSherpa.com. Here's your program. Hey, everyone. I'm Michael Seiger, publisher of DomainSherpa.com. Domain name investors and companies love exact match domain names. Those are domains that exactly match the searched keyword phrase of a user. For example, if you search Google for the keyword phrase rental cars, then rentalcars.com would be the exact match domain name. There's a link just below this video to an article about exact match domain names that describes why they're so valuable and why companies like amazon.com owns diapers.com and clothes.com and Dell owns cloudcomputing.com. The questions we're going to answer on today's show is, are these. How often is the keyword phrase like rental cars searched per month on Google? And is it worth buying the exact match domain in that case? If a word or phrase has a high search volume, meaning people often search for that word or phrase, and you can build a website that ranks at the top of search engines, then it could receive a lot of traffic and it has the potential to make a lot of money. But if nobody ever searches for that word or phrase, then it could be a waste of time to buy the domain name and build a website. As a result, domain names that have a lot of search volume can command a higher sales price. And if you're looking at a domain name that's dropping, that's in auction or that's for sale, you'll wanna know what the search volume is and approximately how much advertisers are paying to associate their pay-per-click ad in those search results. So let's get into it. The first thing you'll wanna do is go to a search engine and type in Google AdWords Keyword Planner, or click the URL below to go to the Keyword Planner at Google. If you don't have an AdWords advertising account on Google, it will prompt you to either sign in or create an account. This is a free account sign up and you're under no obligation to enter a credit card for payment or buy any advertisements. You just need an account so that you can sign in and run the queries. Just follow the steps to complete that process. If you already have a Gmail email account or use Google Apps for your company, you can sign in with your email address and password, and you'll likely have to accept some terms and conditions around Google AdWords. After signing in, you'll come to a screen that says Keyword Planner, Plan Your Next Search Campaign, What Would You Like to Do? And there will be three options. One, search for keyword and ad group ideas. Two, enter or upload keywords to see how they perform. Three, Multiply keyword lists. If you're brought to any keyword section besides the keyword planner section, just click 
tools and analysis, then click keyword planner and it'll bring you to the right location. You'll want to click on the first option, search for keyword and add group ideas. Then you'll want to type your word or phrase into the your product or service box. Let's say that rentalcar.com is in auction, but we're not sure if it's the best keyword phrase and we're not sure if it gets an, any traffic and, and if it should be commanding a, a premium on the auction site. For example, should it be rentalcar.com, like the singular rental car, or should it be rentalcars.com, the pr plural? Which is searched more often? And are there any advertisers paying to have their ads shown in the search result? So I'm gonna enter both rental car and rental cars. You can enter one per line with a return in between them or both on the same line separated by commas. It doesn't matter if you put comma space or just comma and then the keyword phrase. We're not going to use the your landing page or your product category as this allows us to target our advertisement differently and we're not using the keyword planner tool for advertising purposes. Under the targeting section, it defaults to United States for me, but if you're signing in from another country, it may default to your country. If you want to target another country, like if you live in Europe, but you want to sell a domain name to Americans, or you live in India and you want to offer a product or service to residents of China, you can remove the United States targeting and add other countries of interest. The Customize Your Search campaign uh, I'm sorry, the customize your search section is also for buying AdWords advertising campaigns, so you don't need to be concerned with this section. When you press the get ideas button at the bottom, the system will go to work. When the results display, you'll see a left hand column that looks similar to the customization options on the previous screen. In the main column, there are two tabs, ad group ideas and keyword ideas. The ad group ideas are mainly for getting more ideas about keyword phrases to associate with an AdWords campaign. Remember, Google is thinking about how it can encourage you to advertise using more than just the keywords you enter, and that's why you get those AdWords suggestions. But we're just looking for search statistics, so you'll want to press the Keyword Ideas tab. When the screen reloads, the two phrases you, start, you typed in will be presented at the top of the list. In the case of rental car versus rental cars, we can see average monthly searches are 60,500 for the singular rental car and 368,000 for the plural rental cars. This is the average number of times people have searched for this exact keyword phrase based on the targeting settings that you've selected. So from a search volume standpoint, only the plural domain name, rentalcars.com, appears to be more valuable than rentalcar.com. In the average monthly searches column, you'll also see an icon that looks like a graph. Hovering your mouse over this icon will expand the picture and show you the trend over the past 12 months, giving you insight into trends if it's going up or down, as well as seasonality. Maybe it's driven by holiday sales or something like that. There are two more columns that you'll want to pay attention to. The first is competition, and the second is average CPC, or cost per click, for advertisers who choose to run a campaign for this keyword phrase. In the case of rental car and rental cars, both are rated high for competition meaning the number of advertisers that show on these keywords is much higher relative to all keywords across Google AdWords. The average CPC column shows $2.10 for rental car and $2.64 for rental cars. For each keyword phrase, the average cost per click is calculated across all ad positions. So if you want position one, you're likely to pay more than for positions five or 10 but it's not a straight pay more and rank higher. Google uses an algorithm, and if your advertisement has a low quality score, meaning it gets less clicks, you may have to pay even more to have it rank higher. Now, if you wanted to remove the United States from targeting and add India, for, for instance, you'll click on United States, then remove, then in the enter a location to target box, you'll type in India and select it. 
Then you just click the main window and the page will refresh. In this case, we can see that in India, the phrase rental car is searched 170 times per month, while renter, rental cars is searched 480 times per month. And the competition is still high and the average cost per click of advertising is lower than in the United States. Let me reset the targeting back to United States. Down below, the keyword phrases you entered are related keyword phrases. This might give you some ideas about other domain names or keyword phrases for search engine optimization purposes to pursue. They're sorted by relevance by default, but if you wanted to reorder them by average monthly searches, just click the header and it will be reset from high to low. Clicking again will present them from low to high. This is interesting because while you thought rental cars was the killer phrase at 368,000 searches per month, you now discover that car rental has an even higher search volume of 450,000 searches per month. So if you wanted to pick a generic name for your company, or we're looking into the industry defining domain name for investment, you can now see that, at least according to the Google Keyword Planner, that car rental has more search volume and the highest average cost per click of any related keyword phrase. Another useful tool is the keyword filters section. Let's say that you're looking for a domain names that have a popular keyword phrase, but not as popular as car rental. Maybe it's been overlooked by investors so far or not used. Just click on the keyword filters, select monthly search volume, say less than 50,000 and high competition. Then click into the main area to refresh the results and click on the average monthly searches to order the results from high to low. Right at the top is a company brand. Stay away from domain names that use other companies' trademarks as that will open you up to legal issues. The second one on the list is car rental coupons, which is searched 33,100 times per month in the United States and has an average cost per click of $2.01. And if I could go back in my time machine to 2000, I could be the first one to register it. But perhaps you can buy carrentalcoupons.com from the current registrant, whereas you're likely never to be able to purchase carrental.com for any reasonable amount. There's one key difference between the old and the new Google Keyword Planner tool. In the old Google AdWords keyword tool, we used to be able to set the search type to broad, exact match, or phrase. In that tutorial that I linked to below, I suggested to change the search type to exact match, but on the new Google Keyword Planner, that option is not available. In the new Google Keyword Planner, you can only view the average monthly searches using an exact match filter. In the right-hand column, there's an option to change results to exact, broad, or phrase, but this does not apply to search results and historical data. This match type selection only affects your click and cost estimates for Google AdWords campaigns. If you want a comparison for the Google Keyword Planner tool, just visit estibot.com. Without an account, you can check statistics on one domain name per day. So if I type in carrental.com, which has a monthly search volume of 450,000 searches per month on Google, we can see on Estibot it has 682,000 monthly searches with a cost per click of $2.90 and an ad competition of, hot, of high. Estibot provides this information from across all search engines, so it makes sense that it has a higher monthly search volume than what the Google Keyword Planner provides. It's always good to get as much data as you can before you invest. Once you have all the data you need, you can then use the Rosner equation to value the keyword rich domain name or whatever next step you take. A link to the Rosner equation is down below as well. Although the Google AdWords keyword tool is dead, the new Google Keyword Planner still does everything we need for domain name and SEO research. 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.